All right, everyone, we're really excited for Nintendo Switch 2 around here. And one thing we have to remember is once Switch 2 comes out, the Nintendo Switch doesn't stop existing. There's still going to be games for that platform, both from Nintendo and third parties. But what's really interesting is we learn a small little tidbit about Nintendo and how they're going to manage the Switch 2 situation and the Nintendo Switch at the same time in 2025 because PH Brazil, Pedro Henrique, Luda Lipa uh, has gone out there and put out his own video in English. I'll link it down below for you guys to watch where he delivers some brand new information about what Nintendo's plans are for Switch 2 but more specifically, what their plans are for Switch after Switch 2 comes out. Uh, and it includes bringing a bunch of games from their partner companies to Nintendo Switch. Now, before we dive into that, I want to remind you, we are on our road to 140,000 subscribers. Uh, so I want to thank all of you guys uh, for being here. If you are enjoying this content and you want to see as up to date on Nintendo Switch, Switch 2, uh, their games and everything else, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel and help us on our road. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. We're going to rely on a summary here. I did watch the whole video, of course, but uh, I'll rely on a summary here from Gaming Leaks and Rumors Reddit that I believe came from Reset Era. And here's what it says. To be clear, this is from the era slash family user Brazil, as we talked about before, Pedro Henrique Luda Lipa, as opposed to the country. Anyways, Brazil reiterates what he previously said about remasters for a GameCube game and a 3DS game, which is essentially that their Nintendo does have a GameCube remaster and a 3DS remaster in the works for next year beyond Donkey Kong Country Returns. Though he didn't say what the games would be, which is true. He goes on to point out that the reason he doesn't want to say what the games are is he does believe they're going to release pretty early uh, within a couple of months after Switch 2 comes out, and he just doesn't want to keep answering a bunch of questions about those games. He'll just let Nintendo reveal them. That being said, uh, he mentioned some third-party games that will get remasters on Switch 1 in 2025 as part of a new initiative from Nintendo to court third parties and help compensate for Nintendo's own internal teams being too busy with Switch 2. So what he's saying is, hey, Nintendo, we are going to sit here and put most of our efforts in 2025 on the Nintendo Switch 2. Most of our self-published games are heading to Nintendo Switch 2. We do have some for Switch, but a majority of our games next year are for Switch 2. How are we going to ensure that once Switch 2 is out, Switch continues to get support from people that aren't going to be buying Switch 2 in year one, how do we support them? Well, we have a few games, obviously Metroid Prime 4, uh, we have Legend ZA coming, we have, you know, a couple remasters, but oh, maybe we should be asking our third party partners to remaster some games for Switch One. And you know what? Some third parties are responding according to Brazil. Here are some of the games that Brazil has heard are going to be remastered for Switch One for 2025 Splinter Cell Blacklist. Rayman 3, and he's not sure if this is the same project as that other Rayman remake that recently uh, got put out there, but uh, if it's not, whatever, the Rayman news kind of inspired him to even make this video in the first place because he had already heard about Rayman 3 coming to Nintendo Switch next year. Driver 1 plus 2, uh, two more unnamed games, so Ubisoft has committed to two more games uh, coming to Switch next year, remakes. Bandai Namco, uh, possibly games from PlayStation 3. He's not exactly sure which games they are, but Bandai Namco has committed uh, to this program from Nintendo for Switch 1 in 2025. And then EA, where the plan seems to be bringing some of their Wii games over to Nintendo Switch. So it goes on to say that, so yeah, I guess this might be the plan to fill out the Switch 1's 2025 alongside Metroid Prime 4 and Pokemon Legends EA, and maybe the long rumored Fire Emblem 4 remake that supposedly has been finished for a while. But to be clear, and this is in all caps, Brazil specifically mentioned that the initiative is to make sure Switch 1 owners who don't immediately upgrade to Switch 2 still have some new things to play while Nintendo is focused on Switch 2. This doesn't necessarily mean that the system is further out than most expect because again we're already seeing where there's some users on family boards and other places starting to take this news as oh man uh the switch 2 must not be released until holiday at the earliest next year if they're doing this initiative to get all these remasters and all these games over on switch and no 
That has nothing to do with it. What it really has to do with it is that Switch 2 is going to release when it releases, and Switch is still going to exist. It doesn't stop existing because Switch 2 comes out. And I know on my channel, you might think, well, you, got, you talk so much Switch 2, you pretend Switch doesn't exist. I know, but then I don't. I just talked about Louis, Mario Luigi leaking. I just talked about the NSO playtest that factually begins today. The playtest for that new game begins today. We've already talked about it on the channel. We do talk about the relevant things happening on Switch. I've talked about Donkey Kong Country uh, Returns 3D, you know, coming over to Nintendo Switch in HD in January. We talked about that in the past, right? We talked about Mario Party. Heck, I did a live stream of Mario Party Jamboree. The point is that Nintendo knows that when Switch 2 releases, there's still like 150 million people that own Switch that will not have a Switch too. They know this, so they know they can't just abandon that audience and not give them things to play. So while Nintendo will have that handful of games, a couple really big ones next year, for them to play, they want to make sure that there's more. Remember, Nintendo has averaged publishing one game every month of the entire Switch generation. And I think what Nintendo is admitting to here is, sure, we had Donkey Kong Country 3D, we have Metroid Prime 4 uh, Beyond, we have obviously Legend ZA, and yeah, maybe we have a GameCube remaster and a 3DS remaster still coming. That's five games. Maybe Nintendo can only cover one published game for Nintendo Switch for half of the year because the rest of the stuff is going to Nintendo Switch 2. And if that's the case, then Nintendo needs to make sure Switch owners still have good games to play. So I, I think that this is just Brazil sort of planting a flag down one, being excited about that Rayman stuff, about there supposedly being a remaster remake in the works of something Rayman related. That was a really cool thing that we found out today. Uh, but what I I actually think this is really about is just reminding people that, yeah, Nintendo is focusing on Switch 2 in 2025. However, they're not abandoning that Switch audience. They want to make sure they have things to play because they're not going to see that regular cadence of Nintendo releases that they became accustomed to the last eight years. The last eight years of Nintendo Switch has been incredible with an incredible cadence of software. Nintendo's not going to be maintaining that cadence after Switch 2 comes out. So... This is Nintendo starting an initiative and courting third parties to convince them, hey, there's still going to be sales to be had here on our old platforms. I think third parties, Ubisoft, EA, Take-Two, they're all really excited to bring their games over to Switch 2, but they want to be like, hey, don't forget, we're going to have 150 million people sitting there in 2025 that don't have Switch 2. We need to bring games to those people. Now's the time. We're not going to be taking away your game sales with our own games. Now's the time. Get those ports in. Get those remasters in. And that's what Nintendo's doing here. So to me, this is all really refreshing. I think it's a, an obvious thing, but it is interesting to see Nintendo leading the charge. Furukawa said that, you know, he wanted to handle this transition differently than Nintendo's handled it. He didn't want the system to fall off. He didn't want to have those fans feel abandoned like they have felt in the past and sure as hell look not only is nintendo still bringing you a handful of banger games they're making sure third parties at least give you some remasters and ports to play as well so yeah maybe it's not the new games and nintendo's very understanding that most new games are just going to go to switch 2 but at least it is ensuring that there's content to play that switch owners maybe haven't played before especially when that content was never on a nintendo platform tons of games on xbox 360 and playstation 3 and even ps4 were never on a nintendo platform so now's the time to bring that content over and just see if you can get some extra sales out of that really really big nintendo fan base remember i think the big shift where a majority of sales start happening on switch 2 instead of switch is probably going to be in year two or three once the install base is about well, around 30 40 million plus anyways guys thank you so much for tuning in i am nathana rubble jans from nintendo prime let me know what you think about this stuff down in the comments below uh, a little note a small note here on uh, pedro henrique luda Lipa and who he is. Uh, he has been a journalist in uh, Brazil for over a decade plus, like 15, 20 years. Uh, it's been a, a long time. He's worked at all of the biggest outlets. Uh, anyone who is uh, from Brazil and has followed the video game media over there for a long time has probably heard of Pedro Henrique Luda Lipa. Uh, he has gone independent, of course. He does his own podcast. He has his own YouTube channel. Uh, he's still traveling to all the major gaming events, the Gamescoms and the, the Game Awards and the Summer Game Fest and uh, gets invited to 
free-to-play games all the time. Uh, he's a very well-respected journalist and uh, has gotten a number of things already right about Nintendo this year, like a bunch of stuff. Uh, he is also one of the leading voices, and I'm saying voices, I'm not saying guarantees, there's a difference, on uh, Switch 2 being revealed in 2024. He's not guaranteeing that Switch 2 will be revealed this year, but he said he would be flabbergasted if it wasn't. So his expectation is that Nintendo Switch 2 will be revealed in 2024, but at least based on what he has said today on family boards and other places, he clearly doesn't know when it's going to be revealed. He just would be shocked if it wasn't in 2024. Uh, so that is his opinion based on things he knows rather than actually knowing it's going to be revealed. I just want to clarify that because he did look a little frustrated today that some content creators might be uh, presenting him as guaranteeing it's going to be revealed this year, which is not really what he's done. He's uh, speculated and educated guessed that it would be revealed this year rather than actually knowing. There's a difference. Like sometimes you know things and sometimes you're inferring things based on other stuff you knew. And I think that's sort of uh, what happens with a lot of this 2024 stuff as for me i'm still team 2024 until november 5th once we get past november 5th i am fully switched to march 31st 2025 thank you guys for tuning in catch you later